LTEV is an emerging technology which converges LTE technology for connected vehicle. In the World Internet of Things Expo Wuxi, September 2017, the Transportation Management and Research Institute of Ministry of Public Security, jointly with Huawei Technologies, China Mobile, China First Auto Works, Audi China, Wuxi Traffic Police, performed LTEV demo, which includes V2I and V2V scenarios. Electronic verification identification is also performed through RFID to realize security authentication between the vehicle and traffic facilities. Additionally, it is the first time in China the police releases real-time road traffic control information through open interface to the vehicle via 4.5G network based on LTE for safe and efficient driving. The semaphore pushes real-time intersection traffic lights color and remaining time information to the vehicle. The driver is informed in advance and then adjusts the speed of vehicle to pass the intersection safely and quickly. The vehicle queue length information can also be sent to the vehicle in the front intersection and provide the driver the selection and guidance of the route. The driver can also view the real-time video of the next intersection in the car as reference for speed control and route selection. When the road is restricted, the semaphore will send traffic control information in time to guide the vehicle to pass correctly. When the vehicle route will pass through the school or crossing the street, the vehicle will get the warning from the semaphore in advance to remind the driver to pay attention to the driving safety. When there is a construction work in front, the semaphore sends the information for vehicle detour. When the semaphore senses the traffic accident on the road, the warning information will be sent to the vehicle which will pass by, reminding the driver to drive carefully or have the avoidance in advance. The V2V demo includes these scenarios. A car suddenly changed lanes and is ahead of another car. Then the front car will send a collision warning to the car followed. Similar situation happens in vehicle emergency braking. The followed vehicle will receive warning information sent from the car ahead. This function makes more sense in case of there is a vehicle in between. Another case is vehicles in different directions are coming to a crossroads or T-junction. Then both vehicles will receive a mutual collision warning signal. The normal mobile network is within stable latency, sometimes up to 500 milliseconds, and there will be packet loss of information distortions. LTE V Solution 1.0 optimizes the existing network and suppress the delay under 50 milliseconds to ensure the safety of driving. Additionally, aftermarket and original devices are supported simultaneously improves the LTEV device penetration for better user experience. The demonstration based on LTEV provides a feasible application testing environment, which lays a good foundation for incubating commercial applications in the future. Next, we will promote to open the public traffic controls facilities and data, develop a unified security authentication and communication network standard, and expand the application to a city-wide area, which will help to improve the safe and efficient driving experience, promote the development of connected vehicle and intelligent transportation industry.